Hi, I'm Houston Singletary from Ableton, and this is APC20 from Akai Pro. In this video, we'll cover grid, navigation, pan, shift, and stop clip. So let's take a look at the APC20 and how it works with Ableton Live. We've got an 8x5 grid, which corresponds with the tactile interface with session view and side live. I've got my scene rows working from left to right. I've also got my tracks working up and down. All right, so I've got scene launch. So let's go ahead and launch a scene and walk through the APC20. I've got transport control, my play, stop, and my record, which we'll get into in just a second. I've also got my MIDI overdub, which we'll use with the note mode. And I've also got my navigation to move around my 8x5 grid. So I can go down, and we can take our 8x5 grid that's highlighted in red in the Ableton Live session view interface. And I can also move it to the right. And this gives me an idea of exactly where I'm at. So if I move it all the way back to the left, I know that the very first track in the upper left is going to be track one, clip one. But if I move it over to the right a few tracks, now I've got synth two on track four. I'm able to select that as I move through my scenes and my clips. Okay, so let's go ahead and move through a couple of more scenes and navigate back over to the far right. Let's take a look at the actual fader control along with the panning, our sends, and our volume. So we use the shift mode over here on the right. I'll select shift, select volume, and now I've got complete volume control. You see there. So I've got full volume control with my eight faders. Of course, I can bank those over to further work outside of the 5 by 8 grid by using the left, right buttons, up, down, that like we talked about before. So let's look at shift again, go to pan, and now my faders correspond with the panning knobs on each track. You can see how it corresponds there. What if we want to work with the sends? I'll go Shift, Send A. Now I'll go to track one, and my fader activates Send A, which is working with a little bit of delay on Return A. Okay. If we want to activate Send B, I'll hold down Shift, Send B, and now we can add some reverb that we actually have inside Live 8 working on Send B as well. The APC20 also has the ability to utilize stop clips and the master stop all clips. And we simply activate that by selecting shift once again, stop all clips, or I have instant control, just like the APC40, the big brother, by just going across, just like that. Move across, there we go. If I wanna launch a scene again, it's as easy as selecting scene three, for example. And we've launched them all again. If I want to stop all clips, every clip that's inside the session view, every clip you see in the 5x8 grid, I just go shift, stop all clips. That's a quick way to stop your set on the APC 20.